ya great one lana i'm back again i'm teacher lydia you remember me good now we want to continue learning hygiene and nutrition we were learning about care for teeth so today we are going to learn about removing teeth in a clean way we are going to learn how you can remove your teeth in a clean way remember we learned to say to remove teeth is also called what to shed teeth so how should you remove your teeth when you shake when your tooth is shaking how are you supposed to remove now before we 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 learn how we are supposed to remove i want us to read a story and then we see how somebody removed uh, another person's teeth then we will know how to remove our teeth safely okay i say i've said i want us to read a story and see what happened before we read this story i want us to look at this picture can you see what those children are doing whom do you think those children are mm -hmm. maybe that is a brother and a sister what is that girl doing to that boy uh-huh maybe that girl is removing uh, that boy's tooth what is that on the table that is inside a glass mm -hmm. that is water uh, i can hear somebody saying salty water that is good then down there that is a dustbin where we throw that okay now let us read our story our story goes Musafi's milk tooth was loose. It was almost coming out. Musafi's sister washed her hands. She carefully removed the tooth. Musafi did not cry. She threw the tooth into a dustbin. She told Musafi to gargle salty water. Wow, a good nice story. Okay? Now let us try and answer questions number 2. They have said answer these questions. A is what did Musafi's sister do before removing the tooth? What did Musafi's sister do before removing the tooth? Can we go back to the story? Who knows? Hiya bus. Let us go back to the story and see. We will do what we do in English. We read the story up to where the answer is. We stop. Okay, let us read. Musafi's milk tooth was loose. It was almost coming out. Musafi's sisters washed her hands. Hiya. We have seen our answer. The question is what did Musafi's sister do before removing the tooth so the answer is msafi's msafi's sister washed her hands so that is the answer uh-huh b what did msafi do after the tooth was removed what did msafi do after the tooth was removed Okay, we go back to the story. We had read up to where Musafi's sister had washed her hands. So let us see if we can get the answer. She carefully removed the tooth. Musafi did not cry. She threw the tooth into a dustbin. She told Musafi to gargle salty water. Have we seen the answer? Hiya, let us read the question again. What did Musafi do after the tooth was removed? Okay, here is the answer. 
so gargled salty water because we are told let us start from here let us start from where the tooth was removed she carefully removed the tooth msafi did not cry she threw the tooth into a dustbin that is msafi's sister and then she told msafi to gargle salty water so msafi gargled salty water so after the tooth was removed msafi gargled salty water see where did msafi take the tooth where did msafi take the tooth haya let us see from where the tooth was removed we go back to the story she carefully removed the tooth msafi did not cry she threw the tooth into a dustbin haya have you seen where the tooth was taken mm -hmm. so where did msafi take the tooth so the tooth was thrown in the dustbin that is where msafi took the tooth very good now after reading that story today we are learning a after reading the story now i want us to see how we can remove our tooth carefully or how we can shed our tooth carefully what should we do so that we don't get other diseases like corona eh what can we do and we must remove that tooth when it starts shaking it must be removed okay we don't need to go to hospital did you see msafi going to hospital no you just remove your tooth at home you just shed your tooth from home so carefully you are removing teeth in a clean way so we can be able to remove our teeth in a clean way by number one we must wash our hands just like so that if somebody has corona hmm, and wants to remove your tooth all the germs will be out hmm. and i think very soon we will also be putting on gloves because what if you is the person who is being removed the tooth and that person has corona Eh? To keep the other person safe, that person must put on gloves. That one will come later. But for now, remember, you must wash your hands very, very well with soap and water. Number one, you must wash your hands. Then, the second thing, after you have washed your hands, you hold the tooth with a clean cloth. You hold your tooth with a clean cloth. So you take a piece of a clean cloth, hold it properly, and then you use that piece of cloth to hold the tooth. So if I want to remove this tooth, I will use, and then I pull it out with a clean cloth. Don't touch somebody's tooth with bare hands. Make sure that you use a piece of clean cloth. Cloth. It must be clean so that if you use a dirty one, you can transfer germs into that person and that person can get sick. Then, after you have removed that tooth, you remove the tooth. After you remove the tooth, you just don't throw the tooth anywhere. Then, the tooth should be drawn in a dustbin. What is a dustbin? Yes, a place where we throw dust. So this is a dustbin for throwing dust inside. So after you have removed your tooth safely, then you take that tooth and throw it in the dustbin. So that when they go to empty that dustbin, it will be thrown far away. So that you do not infect other people with any kind of diseases. If you don't have a dustbin at home, you have a place where you throw your dirt, maybe a pit, you will go and throw that tooth in the pit where you burn or throw your, your dirt. Then the last thing, 
you are supposed to do is you are supposed to gargle salty water. You are supposed to gargle salty water. What is to gargle? What is to gargle? To gargle is you take some water in your mouth, then you take it into different sides, and then you spit. I will show you how to gargle. For example, if I have removed my tooth, I will put water. Then I spit that water in the dustbin or maybe in a sink and then it will be washed away. I want to teach you a song. I want to teach you a song, a very sweet song about uh, care of our teeth and about removing the teeth. Okay, this is how the song goes. The song goes, oh my teeth. Oh my teeth, oh my teeth, one is out. Bring the water, salty water, gargle, gargle, spit it out. Okay, let us see. Oh my teeth, oh my teeth, oh my teeth, one is out. Bring the water, salty water, gargle, gargle, spit it out. So, sing very well, you show with your face, eh? and start. Oh my teeth, oh my teeth, oh my teeth, one is out. Bring the water, so tea water, gargle, gargle, spit it out. So, learn that song, and then I want you now to do for me an exercise. Now, I want us to try exercise 1.2. They read... Fill in the blank spaces. Choose the answer from the brackets. Okay, number one. We wash our dash before removing teeth. Hands, mouth. What do we wash before removing our teeth? So, the correct answer you will underline. We will do together, number one. Let us go. We wash our dash before removing teeth. Hands, mouth. The answer is hands. So here in the word hands, you will underline very well. That will be the correct answer. Now, when you are writing, if you have colored pencils, write the answers using colored pencils and underline the correct answer using a pencil. Higher. Number two, let us read. All children grow milk teeth. True, not true. Okay. Have you said the answer? I will not tell you. I want you to say the answer. Then make sure that you do that exercise. Let us read number three. Teeth that we remove are Dash teeth. Milk, good. What is the answer? Okay. Uh huh. Good. Higher. We do not go to hospital to remove milk teeth. Yes, no. Do we go to the hospital? From the story we read, did Musafi go to hospital? Remember, then choose the correct answer. What have you said? That is good. So you can copy that work and write it down. Or you can just read and say the answers. Be a good girl.